Hello everyone, Christoph Trapp, Chief Content Officer with meetings today in Salt Lake City at the Convention Center. I'm here with Chance Thompson with SMG. Um, thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. And of course, as you're watching our interview, make sure you uh, go around the screen. You can check out we're on the roof of the Salt Palace Convention Center here. And even when you go all the way around, you can still see the mountains outside of Salt Lake City and you can see all the, the different um, solar panels here. Mm -hmm. So Chance, tell me what's going on. What? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, this is a good place to, to be to kind of start a conversation around this is it was uh, we're a Salt Lake County owned building and um, back in 2009, I'm um, kind of in that ballpark, they decided that they wanted to make a statement about a renewable energy. And so a lot of where our sustainability programs really got sparked and inspired were from the panels that we're standing um, amongst right now. And so it's a, a 600,000 square foot array that provides anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of our pen, uh, of our power uh, annually depending on business load and how much sun we get and all that good stuff right but it's uh, it's where a lot of this started so uh, you know we now have a uh, a green team committee here of over 30 members across five different organizations and we hold five of what's called the apex astm sustainable event standards um, and we we work on it every day and i'm fortunate enough to be the the person that kind of connects the pieces but it, it's a, a village that, that provides a lot of stuff to this so it's been a lot of fun yeah and how much sun do we see in salt lake city in the year roughly do you know? uh i don't have not exact figures but it is it is a pretty sunny place you know certainly we have winter here we get snow right so um, the winter we don't yield as much and sometimes they'll get covered with snow but I mean we get way more sunshine than we don't during the, the warm months and you can see right now it's a beautiful bright blue sunny day it's a pretty place so. it is beautiful and if you're wondering why I'm so sweaty that's because we had to walk up the steps <laughs> to uh, to the roof but I'm I'm, I'm, ha I'm glad we went up here to check it out uh, when it comes to sustainability what mm -hmm. else is there we're sharing for event planners yeah you know I think our um, the the place we put a, a lot of our um, our resources and energy into to is energy is one, but certainly um, waste management, materials management. So we've designed a program where trade show clients can work with us to take leftover trade show material and connect it to our community. And so we've got a list of over a hundred different nonprofits, schools, arts and theater programs, faith-based organizations. Um, we're getting into small businesses some as well. Um, and we uh, donate a lot of event material. And since the beginning of 17, we've donated about 500,000 pounds of event material and Utah Food Services has uh, rescued and donated um, over 75,000 meals to, uh, to the local um, community as well. So really impactful way for clients to get on board. And then um, where that benefits the client is we do a lot of reporting for them. We develop marketing material for them, tell their story about they, why they prioritized it and what their impact was. And yeah, so um, materials are, are really our, our biggest opportunity, I think, as an industry too. Uh, because we we build really cool creative event environments and we got to find places for that stuff to go right rather than the landfill um, and ultimately if you donate it instead of throwing it away it in theory should save you money right so yeah definitely a worthwhile cause if mm -hmm. you are watching this on YouTube make sure to head over to meetingstoday.com Danielle Labreck has a whole uh, additional article or more information in her article about sustainability um, in the event planning industry in the United States. Chance, thanks for joining us. Of course, yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks everyone.